Let's say we were together. Would you tolerate cheating from me? Of course. I would. Now, why is that? Um, because men biologically cheat. Because you can go sleep with a girl right now and it's just pleasure. For example, we're surrounded right now by a shit ton of amazing clubs. You can walk into the club right now, get super drunk, and just have a one-night stand. But you're still coming home to me, sleeping with me, providing for me, and doing everything you're supposed to. It's just biologically made the men are going to go ahead and cheat because it's just pleasure. You know what I mean? It's status, basically, when men cheat. But when women cheat... It's disrespect because when we cheat, it's a connection. Like, we cheat with intention. We cheat with emotions. You guys don't cheat with emotions. We do. So I don't think a man should stay with a woman that cheats on her. Now, why wouldn't you feel insecure by finding out that I, you know, was blowing on all the chicks back out? Oh, as women, you're meant to be feminine and protect of the home and stay with your partner and take care of the kids. So if you're providing for me and doing everything you're supposed to, I will definitely tolerate cheating. But if it's a 50-50 relationship, it's like I'm your roommate. Why Why are you like down making me downfall? Like that's not, that's not cool. Okay. Well, I mean... No, 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 no. Not okay. Wait, wait, let, me, let me explain. Let me explain. I saw you smirking as well because all you guys have got the same mindset of, yeah, we need more women like this. We could cheat no, and get no, away no. with it. No, no, no. Because the thing is, if it wouldn't be cheating in her relationship because she doesn't see it that way. She just sees it as a man goes out to get pleasure, but it doesn't mean anything to him. Now, I've heard the argument and I understand the argument. And we even had this conversation last time yes. where we said that men will go out and yes. sleep with a girl and they'll go home and play games and nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Usually when girls are cheating, they are cheating with intention. That is just a fact. We see it happen all the time. Girls don't really cheat for physical pleasure all the time. That's not, some do, but generally speaking, it's flipped, right? Now, I wouldn't do it myself. One, because I prefer monogamy. That's just a personal, uh, personal choice. But I, I hear the argument. And if they're consenting, there's, that's up to them. They can do whatever they want. It's not something that I'm really I into. I don't think she'd be consenting. I just... I she is, she think, is consenting. I think she's been watching too much Fresh and Fit. I think she's been watching too many of them style podcasts because everything she laid down was everything that the men basically say about women or to the women who are a bit more, you know, less educated. So oh. on Fresh and Fit, are they not? Oh, you're talking about the women specifically yeah. going there? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. No, they are. And there's people like Myron going, yeah, women cheat for emotional reasons. Men cheat because it's biology. Um, women should stay in a household through thick and thin, whatever. Uh, well, let's just stay on the cheat. No, 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 no. I'm onto something here. You're distracting me. Um, he would also say things like, oh, whatever it is. By all means, the overall concept that she's explaining is correct. When men cheat, it's more for the physical aspect. When women cheat, it's more for the emotional aspect. It's not always going to be that way for either or. And just because biologically men, I don't know, the way they operate, doesn't mean it's okay for them to go out and cheat. It doesn't mean that the woman should just be like, yeah, that's fine for you to cheat because it's biology. No. It, when the fuck did we get there? It is okay if she says it's okay. Yeah, but she's saying it's okay because she's saying it's biology. That's, no, that's that doesn't she, make it okay. That's the way she views the words. No, she's, try, she's, be, she's, she's trying to be a pick-me girl. No, no, no. I know women. She is. I know women that are like this. I, you've met one of my friends, as a matter of fact. I'll tell you off camera, but she's like that as well. And, she is she's completely fine with him stepping out now that's what they call it they don't call it cheating because if you're cheating that means that me and you have established something and no. i've overstepped my boundaries i've cheated on the relationship i cheated on you but if you say to me mike as long as you come home to me as long as you come home to the kids as long as you provide to me what is I don't, this no, no but that that's within the confines of someone's relationship it's not cheating if you agree to it what? it's cheating so if i he- if i go against what you said if you say to me mike this is the only pussy you're getting, then those are the rules that we've set. But if you say to me, Mike, you go abroad, do what you want, I don't mind, then I'm not cheating, I'm stepping out. Nah, the, the, this whole thing of, a lot of women say as well, well, he comes home to me every night, so that makes it okay, does it? To her it is okay. Because he's coming home to you. Like, what he's doing is completely disrespectful. But it's within okay. the confines of their relationship. Now, I don't think that their relationship will last. Personally, if you're, if you're asking me where it will go, most of the time I think those relationships yeah. will break down. I do think the woman will step outside and men don't like dealing with that shit. So the relationship will break, will break down. 
if he's stepping outside constantly, I think at some point she probably will as well. Look. That's just me taking a guess. I understand the point you're getting at, and I agree if it's in, in, in like in the confines of their relationship. However, to me, it seems as though she's just saying it because she thinks it's a normal thing or it should be a normal thing because of biology. Whereas I disagree, and I think so, to some extent she's been brainwashed to think this is normal and men should be allowed to do this because of biology. No. Do you think you've been it's, brainwashed? Do I think I've been brainwashed? Why do you think she's been brainwashed and not you? Because everything she was saying was just screaming what every podcast talks about these days. If you boil it down to a biological level, yeah. biologically, we can continue to impregnate as many women as we yeah. want, but you can only get impregnated so many times mm -hmm. before your body gives up on you. Mm -hmm. And when you get impregnated... And it's a nine month process, right? Any other guy that comes up in there, he's not going to get you pregnant. You can't at that point. And then you can only do it so many times before your body's like, I'm, I'm done. I can get every single woman on this, on this planet that can get pregnant, pregnant. Mm. I can do that until I'm dead. Until I'm 90 years old, I can. So biologically, she's not wrong. Biologically, we're designed to spread our seeds. Soci uh, because of the way we've set society up and the way monogamy works, we don't do it because we're going against our partner's wishes but biologically speaking, we do have the capacity to do that. I mean, you, you can you can go out there and step out. I'm not saying that. But the way we're designed, we're designed, we can shoot our seed wherever you we want. You can, but that doesn't mean that because you can do that biologically, it's more normal for guys to just cheat on their women and sleep with other people because it's simply for pleasure. Because you're, you're not shooting your seed to impregnate someone and, and, and reproduce. True. You're shooting your seed for your own selfish pleasure. Sex feels just as good for women as it does for men. And, and, yeah. and if a woman was to step out and go and cheat on her man, all of a sudden it's for emotional reasons. What if she was just doing it because she was feeling horny as well? Then, then why, do you, why have you said it before? Said what? You've agreed with the idea that women do it for emotional reasons. I do. I do agree with that. But I'm saying to you, in this instance, mm. if a woman was doing that just simply for pleasure, because women can feel pleasure as much as men, why would it then not be okay? Because that's the way those individuals are framing it. Like look, at, look at Destiny, for example. He's with Melina. He's fine with her going out and get railed. Now, nobody seems to understand why. Look at Adam22. He's set up a whole show for his girlfriend to get BBC. Mm. Right, so some people find it. I find it weird. I I am, I prefer monogamy. I prefer coming home to one person and building something with that person, and and going from there. And I become more attached to a person sexually when we're doing when we're building something, or if if I'm seeing them constantly, or if I'm, I don't like going out and like just doing it or whatever. But biologically, the way we're, we're the way we're set up, she's not wrong on that front. Now, if she sees relationships that way, and she's happy for a man to do that, it's not cheating. It's cheating if she said, I don't want you sleeping with other women, and then he does it after agreeing not to. Then it's cheating. You can't go to another country. Let's just pick a random place. Let's just say a random place in the world. Um, I don't know. Czech Republic, let's say. I don't know anything about that country. But let's say in that country, it is the norm for women to stay at home and be with one man, and it's normal and it's acceptable, and women don't feel oppressed for, them to, for the man to step outside. You can't go to their country and be like, you guys got it all wrong. This is how we live. And this is how we live. So if you're talking about brainwashing on her end, you got to accept that. Maybe you've been brainwashed by the West. No, I think, I think, yeah, but she's living in the West as well. But she looked like a Latina. So no, she, no, no. She, she, <laughs> within the confines of her I'm world. Su I'm surprised to hear this coming from you because if you just listen to the clip and listen to her word for word, everything she's saying, mm. word for word, it's literally Myron. It's Andrew Tate. It's all the words these guys preach and speak, and she's just reiterating that, like, yeah, but that's I'm a a belief she's system she's acting have. like a pearl, like a just, yeah, this is the way it is. I'm okay with it. Like, no, have some fucking, have a backbone and say it's not okay. It's not okay for a man to just cheat because biologically they can. No, but Sabi, it's, it's not, not cheating okay if you don't see it that way. Yeah, but I think that she's. I don't think she's like people in other countries who don't see it that way. I genuinely think she has been brainwashed what makes by you think what she's, she's been, been exposed to. What about the Japanese girls? They brainwashed. No, like you're saying, they're in a different country. They're living different to us. We, we, we're in the West. But she's in America. Yes. Yeah, Latin America. Like but, She but might be on the Latin side. But they're not side. like that. 
Latin Americans are not like that. Are you sure? Yeah. They're, where are you getting this information that they're like that? Part of my family are Colombian. What, and they all just cheat and say it's okay? No. Because I'm, it's I'm, for bio- biology reasons? No, I'm not saying them specifically, but because I have I, I've them on my brother's side, my sister-in-law, mm. when, I've, when I've gone out and worked in places before, and I've said, oh, yeah, I've got Colombian in-laws, um, I've made Colombian friends through that. And this is, I've heard this before. I've, I've heard this from Mexicans and I've heard this from Colombians. Now, I don't know if it's widespread. I don't know much about their culture, but she's, she looked like a Latina. And if she's lived over there all her life and that's the way they were raised, we may not agree with it, but we're not necessarily, they're not necessarily wrong. I'm actually shocked to listening to this from you. You've got to be open-minded. No, no, I understand that. I understand the point you're getting at. And yeah. I can see where you're going with it. But I think if you listen to this girl word for word, even how she phrases the, and pieces the sentence together, you can hear where she has gotten this information from. But, okay, so where did the Japanese girls get it from? That's, 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 that's their culture. That's, what, that's just normal so because in that country. Andrew Tate like and Myra and I in the West, it's unacceptable. But because they're on a different part of the world, it's acceptable. You're not understanding. That. Okay, explain it. You think she's copied it from a podcast? I think she's been exposed to what the men in the West have been saying, mm. and she's now this is her way of thinking. Do you when think she it's may possible? Not necessarily have been that way inclined before. Okay, fine. But do you think it's possible that she genuinely doesn't care? I would if she didn't word it like that. So the phrasing of it sounded yeah. too close to Myron. Mm. But Myron's not the first person to say that. No, but Western men. I've seen multiple podcasts where they all say the same thing. But this was happening before the whole red pill thing happened. We knew yeah, this. Even in but marriages. This is a recent video. We, we know full well in marriages, people will step outside and it will become common for the uh, people in the marriage to, uh, to understand that. Like, Look, we've gotten bored of each other. They've come to a compromise. No one's talking about That's it, but it we're is. stepping like, up. What, you've got a woman. And I could understand if a man wasn't getting sex, why he'd go out and cheat because biologically, yeah, men but it's not need cheating it. if you agree. But if 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 a woman's giving you sex at home, there's no need to go out and cheat for pleasure reasons because of biology. If you're in a relationship, yeah. and you set your boundaries mm-hmm. and he violates them, that's cheating. If you're in a relationship and you say, "Look, just don't bring me home a disease," other than that, I don't really care. Then he's not cheating. If he says that to you, you're not cheating. Now, I don't like open relationships myself. I'm not interested in them. But, and as weird as I find like Destiny's relationship, I do find it weird. I find his especially weird because he lets Melina step up. I do find it more weird when men say it. It's, I don't know why. I just, it, but you know, I don't hate him for it, but that's his thing. He's, they're not hurting anyone. They're doing whatever they're doing. Do I think those relationships last? Most of the time, probably not. But yeah, then most relationships don't last anyway. So If any man has seen that video and they get with her, they're going in knowing that's it. I've got free reign to just cheat. And then where is the the relationships where people are just loyal and just in love with their partner and don't care about people on the outside? Well, what is a relationship though, Sab? A relationship is two people. Um, um, but what 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 is a relationship though? It's two people, but what are they doing in that relationship? Does it not alter between people? I'm sorry? Do relationships not differ? Your relationship with person X will be different from person Y and person Z. There's no set definition of what a relationship okay, is. Okay, so if they got married, yeah. in sickness and in health, all that shit. Yeah, it might be a bastard. And he still cheats. You still think well, it's... It's not cheating if she says it's okay. <laughs> is it? Is it cheating? I just can't get behind it. That's my opinion. Definition-wise, it's not cheating. right? I understand. I'm not behind it either. Mm. Uh, do you think I'm behind no. it? No. It's just I understand it. I understand. I'm not interested in the what woman. What you're saying, though, I understand, but I just don't particularly think this this woman is somebody like the Japanese people, someone who's grown up with it being the norm. I think she has been. Well, do you not think women can think like men? Yeah, absolutely. Right. So this is uh, Andrew Tate, for example. He's got kids now, mm. and he's got a woman, mm. but he's been very open in saying his woman lets him date. What is wrong with people? But that's if they're happy. And that's and they don't put any value on the sexual act, but Andrew Tate does, and they, they that's their relationship. I don't really I don't think there's a massive issue there. I yeah, find if it that's weird. their prerogative, cool. But yeah, I can't really 
understand or grasp why anyone would be okay with it and I can't get behind it and I will never get behind it. I think some women also, they come to terms with the fact that you might tell your man for 10 years to not step out, but when he goes out of his boys, not all men, obviously, guys are loyal, but it's going to step out and you ain't going to know. Rather than just saying, look, you're going out today, just be careful. Mm. That's what some women do. I've heard some women saying, look, this is a reality. This is what's going to happen. It's going to be out of the boys. X, Y, and Z is going to happen. I'm not going to know about it. I might as well come forward and say, look, can you just be careful? That's what they do. Now, you might not like it, but that's, that is their approach to protecting their relationship. They're aware that this, statistically speaking, people cheat, men and women. And these women are just coming forward and saying, look, just be careful. Okay, you're going to Thailand or whatever. She knows what's up. And she's saying to him, look, we're cool. Just be careful. That shit happens and it happens very often. People are not open about it, but I've seen it happening before. You may not agree with it. I don't, I don't agree, agree with it either. It. I don't like the idea. But I think if you get married to someone, you should honor them. But yeah. realistically speaking, start, the, the numbers don't lie. Mm. So th- th- they're probably just trying to find the healthiest approach to it. Do I, like I said, do I agree? No. Ideally, I'd like for it to be man and woman and just stay like that. But... You know, humans are flawed and we do things to satisfy ourselves and people make compromises and that's what it is. That might be what she's done. She might have been in relationships and she might have been like, look, I've been with 10 guys, 10 have cheated. Let me just take this approach. And she's just made peace of it. Mm. That's my take on it anyway. And that's my take on it too. (laughs) Well, anyway. Yeah, the gun to my head. It's my take on it too, bitch. (laughs) 